Hi there, thanks for showing up for another gameplay video. I hope you're doing well, it's nice to have you here. This week we're taking a look at another little independent light gun game, which is free to play. Point Rescue Arcade is billed as a web demo as the developer Magellanic Games intends to release it as a full game on Steam. However, development seems to have stalled on this for now as the last development update was published last year in March of 2023 in which MG did say that the amount of time they had available to work on this game is limited. So for now, we have to settle for this demo, and I really hope we do eventually get to see the full version of this game, because it's fantastic. What we have here is a well-made, feature-rich Virtua Cop-style rail shooter, featuring three stages and a boss battle against a rocket-launching helicopter. The game plays and feels just like an authentic Sega Virtua Cop game, and has you shoot your way through a building full of armed enemies as you make your way to the roof with the confrontation against the aforementioned aerial boss. The game rewards you for headshots, killstreaks and multiple hits on individual enemies. There are a few power-ups to be found on the way that give you extra health or a different kind of weapon. And if you find yourself overwhelmed by multiple enemies at once, you can shoot a fire extinguisher which will explode, taking out all enemies within its blast radius. Civilian hostages are, thankfully, immune to the blast from these. While it can be played with a mouse, the developer really made this game to be played ideally with a light gun and included settings to enable a Sindon border and remove the crosshair from gameplay. Naturally, I'll take advantage of this in my playthrough. Another really cool setting available is the Retro Resolution option, which reduces the game's resolution to more closely resemble how the game might look if it could be played on a Sega Saturn. I really like this feature, but the letdown here unfortunately is that the overlay elements are not affected by this and still appear in the higher resolution, and this breaks the illusion somewhat. But best of all is the replayability of this short game. A full playthrough of this game can take about 6 minutes from start to finish if you don't run out of life, but restarting the game might have your character take a different path through the levels. This is a fantastic addition to the game that increases the amount of mileage you can get out of it, keeping the game fresh for longer. In all, I find this game to be highly enjoyable and challenging, a worthy homage to the Virtua Cop series that inspired it. I really do hope to see the full release one day. So that's enough talk from me. Before I show you my playthrough, I'd just like to remind you to like and comment this video if you want to, and if you want to see more from me in the future, get subscribed. Okay, so here it is, my playthrough of Point Rescue Arcade, such as it is. Reload! 
shoe. Red shot. Okay. 